Hey guys, this is Pam. Welcome to Kiwi's Collectibles. And I want to share with you a few things that I found this weekend when I went thrifting and yard sailing. First of all, we'll start with the yard sales. Um, I picked up two of these beautiful Holiday Living Tiffany Accent Lamps. Now this is a Christmas tree. They, I think they have different ones. I, I know that they have a snowman, but this is the Christmas tree. I picked up two of these. You're not gonna believe what I paid for this. 50 cents for each lamp. What a bargain! So look how gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, it's such a beauty. It has little gems here and it just lights up and just the glass and the color. I mean, what a bargain, what a treat that I found. 50 cents, guys, 50. So, I was very pleased with this. And it's a Christmas item, and so I'm not gonna put my Christmas items on eBay until about July, you know, Christmas in July. So, look for those then if you'd like to pick these up. They are absolutely gorgeous, okay? So we've got two of those, two for one dollar. You can't beat that. Okay, the next thing I picked up, uh, and this is something that I'm gonna use in my classroom because I am a first grade teacher. These are Melissa and Doug um, buttons. They're large buttons, but they're in the different geometric shapes. We've got circles, squares, hexagons, um, triangles, and my first graders, we study geometry, so this would be a great thing to have in my classroom that they can use for tracing or just use as manipulatives. So, 50 cents is what I paid for these, and I was really happy to find those, and they're in great condition. Okay, moving along. All right, one of the houses we went to, they had a lot of, um, I guess, silver-plated or sterling silver items. Although they did say that a lot had already been purchased, um, they just had a few things left. And I found this part of a the chafing dish. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But you know, it's the little warmer with the feet and the little the little burner here. And you, this is the dish. So it has this little clamshell situation going on here. And I think it's silver plated, but I think that this is just brass underneath and it has this little handle and it's, um, it's got something on the bottom and I have used my handy dandy, uh, magnifying glass. I might as well just have these as my glasses because I have to use this all the time. But I tried figuring out what was on the bottom. I couldn't. NRA, I mean, that's the Rifle Association. I don't know. So I couldn't figure it out. But um, I really like this piece. And maybe someone somewhere out there has the other part to it. <clears throat> and we could get these together. Okay? And have a little, you know, something. I don't know. Anyway, but that's going to be in my eBay store pretty soon. All right, the next thing I want to talk to you about, let me see. Oh, oh, is that it? You know, it was a slow day at the yard sales, okay? It was really slow. My husband purchased a few things, um, I like a paracord, something that you wrap paracord around, um, some paint. So the yard sales were a little lame for us. Although there were some great ones out there, I didn't find that much at the yard sales. So when I came home, I decided to go to a few thrift stores. Now, the first thrift store that I went to, right up the street from me, I found something that my mother is going to use. Now, this is called Polyfill Needle Punched Polyester Quilt Batting. And it retails for $12.99 at Hobby Lobby. Now my mother um, quilts a lot. She makes a lot of black quilts. That's her mission work for her church. And she makes a lot of quilts for um, people that are sick, um, elderly, 
and they it's just it's smaller quilts it's like crib size quilts that you can just throw over your lap uh, like if you're sitting in the hospital just throw it over your lap um, and so that's her mission work so I thought I'd grab this for her I paid one dollar for this so it's a bargain and yes I did the smell test You've got to smell things, especially fabrics, when you're out shopping around in the Goodwill stores or at any kind of thrift stores, because you don't want it to, it's, it's hard to get some smells out of fabrics. So this passed the sniff test, all right? So that's going to my mom. And I just wanna show you one thing that my mom does. <clears throat> These are the type of quilts that she makes. Now, my mom is so good at quilting. She doesn't normally use a pattern. She makes up her own pattern. And so, this is the style, you know, of quilts that she makes. They're really cute. And she has the all the different fabrics. And so, I like to pick up a lot of those things for her. And I actually may list this one on eBay. It's just a cute little lap quilt. The picture here, these are little mittens, and they're in the different little primary colors. But um, I may go ahead and list this and see how it does on there for my mommy. Okay. Okay, so another thing. We, I, then I went to another thrift store because that was all I found at that first thrift store. Now, this thrift store, I got some good things. The first thing I found was this piece of pottery. It's a, a lady candlestick holder pottery. It's from North Eagle. So on the bottom, you won't be able to see it probably, but I got a lot of lights going on here, but it has North Eagle <clears throat> on the bottom. This feels raised. So it is so unique. I love her, her hat. A taper will come out the top, and someone actually has used it. There's some wax residue here. But look at the gorgeous face. Look at that. Can you see that? I'm looking at the camera here. What a beautiful piece. So if this doesn't sell, I'm definitely going to keep this for my own decor. We have a lot of blue in my home. And I, really, I just really think it's fantastic. It's a beautiful piece. Okay. I also found a Starbucks mug. Now, Starbucks, you know, you can, lots of people love the Starbucks mugs. This one, <clears throat> this one has a, more of a teal color. They, I know that they have a darker blue, a red, a yellow in the same style. This is from 2007, and uh, on the inside is white with these gorgeous pattern of flowers. Um, orange and blue and it's it has a ribbed feel on the outside so you can grab that cup and you know get your coffee on in the morning so it's a Starbucks coffee mug 2007 and I think I paid 50 cents for this oh and let me tell you what I paid for my North Eagle pottery candlestick I paid two dollars for this one I thought that was a great bargain. And I paid for the chafing dish $2, I think $2, okay. All right, so let's move on. Now, I found a few Christmas items here. And this one is a Waterford Holiday Heirlooms exquisite um, Christmas ornament and I, I want to just let you know that the details in the 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 work on this piece is just it's unbelievable it's absolutely beautiful I paid three dollars and fifty cents for that and I bought two of them and I have the box here it's from 2003 and the MSRP is $45, good grief. And it's made in Poland. I would never pay $45 for any kind of decoration. You can mark that down in any book, okay? Never. Um, but I would pay 350 
okay? Especially these type. They're, they're just very delicate, gorgeous. I mean, even the little snowman's face, I don't know if you can see it, but look. He's got his little nose, his little carrot nose. So, um, I'm going to be putting those, like I said, in July. I'm going to be listing those. I have another beautiful ornament. This one's a little heavy. But this ornament, let me see. I wrote a little little notes on this. This one I paid 50 cents for. I mean, unbelievable. Okay, so it looks like it's um, glass, hand-painted, but the gold outline, you're not going to believe this. So, okay, what I did was I got my handy-dandy, you know, big magnifying glass out. Guys, it's completely, I mean, each little dot, it's dotted, the outline, it's so beautiful. Um, it's got this nice little point at the bottom, beautiful little beads here with the flowers and the ribbons. I think what I may do is add a different ribbon and have that for sale, 50 cents. Now that's what I'm talking about. I would pay 50 cents for this. Well, I mean, I did. But I wouldn't pay $45, $45 for anything, none of this. Okay, so let's move on quickly. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a quick view, and I'm going to show you all together. This is a set of ornaments. I mean, it was the, it was the holiday theme going on here. People are getting rid of their Christmas junk, and I'm just buying it up. Okay, so this is the Kurt S. Adler Wizard of Oz Christmas Ornament Set. Now, I looked online and they have older sets. This one I don't think is very old. I paid $3 for this set. But I'm going to show you. Now, this is when, you know, the characters, when they, after they went through the field of the poppies and they, they went and they rang the doorbell and they, they, anyway, they made it to Oz. And after they got their, you know, spa treatment, this is what they look like after their spot tree. He's all shiny. He still has his little oil can, boop. But he's a shiny little tin man. Okay, we've got that one. We've got, if I were king of the forest. Okay, the lion, the lion, the cowardly lion. And he's got his little crying rag here and his little tail has the little bow on it. Look at him, he's adorable. And the, their faces are porcelain. And here's Dorothy. Now Dorothy doesn't have, Dorothy doesn't have her little red slippers. And I don't remember that part of the movie. Did she keep the red, ruby red slippers during this part of the movie? I don't remember. But it has Toto there. Can you see Toto? All right. And they've, all, they've gotten all cleaned up. They've had their day. They've had their nails trimmed and, you know, their feet soaked. All that goodness. I don't think they got a spray tan, though. Okay, so this is the scarecrow. And look, he's got a little, he's got a little bouquet of poppies. Okay. Adorable. So, I'm going to sell those. I, don't, I think I'm going to sell them as a set. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what July, you know, how whatever comes in July. Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about is I found some of the little golden book encyclopedias. Now, I do not have every single one, and I'm sad about that. But I have, and I paid $10 for all these books, so there's 16, oh, we'll get to that in a second. So, the Little Golden Book Encyclopedias, I have, there was 16 in the set. I am missing six of the books. So, I have 10 of these. This is from 1959, and these are in pretty good shape. Now, the spine and the outside, it has the normal wear and tear from a 1959-year-old book. Uh, so it looks like they have actually been used and read a little bit 
instead of sitting on a shelf just collecting dust. So I'm happy about that. Um, but I looked online and found that some of them had sold, some of these books individually have sold for like three to five dollars per book or for the entire set, which I do not have, 20 or 30 dollars. Some had even gone for more than that. And that's crazy. But I may sell these as like two or three books at a time. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I will put these on eBay. Okay, the next thing I got, and when it was part of the box, the, okay, let me just tell you. The box of books, it said $12. So I picked up the box. I put it in my car. I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I don't know. And then I get to the cash register, and then the lady's like, oh my God, I'm so glad you're taking these books. I'm just take them for $10, not $12. So, hey, I got two bucks off. Anyway, these are the Golden Book Encyclopedia of Natural Science. Here we go. Oh, no. This is volume two. Volume one is somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's over there. Anyway, so it's over there. It's on my table. But I have that one. So, the Natural Science books, let's see, did I write anything in that um, no, they're from 1962, and I don't think they go for as much as just the Golden Book Encyclopedias, but the good thing is that I have the entire set of these, so we'll see how that goes on eBay. So, very happy about that. And I think that is everything. So, until next time, keep thrifting. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you see anything you like, no worries. You can find it in my eBay store. The link is in the description below. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.